What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. So in this one I'm going to be showing you how to add 3D text to your video projects. Now, I have been looking around, snooping around a bit to try and find some more information on this. Um, I pretty much found if you want actual 3D text, you will need certain extensions. Um, but there is a way to kind of cheat 3D text within Vegas Pro 16 um, or any previous versions of Vegas Pro. So I'm going to show you that kind of cheat way. If you do want to see the proper way to do it with the extension, then just tell me in the comments below and I'll make that as one of the future videos. Now the first thing you're going to want to do guys is create a track. So just right click in the empty area down here and click new video track or insert video track. You then want to right click insert text media. If you haven't seen my video on how to add text then you can look at that and just learn how I edit a bit more um, but I'm gonna change the font here I'm gonna go with impact and I'm gonna change this to something like 3d text now I'm gonna close that down so I'm just gonna move that to the beginning of the video now you wanna go into video effects guys and then you wanna search for light rays and we can see light rays here you then want to go onto moderate light rays which you can see in the middle and just drag that straight onto your text you then want to go down to the bottom, increase the blend up to full. Now if you want to change the colour of the 3D effect, um, then you can change it here by changing these sliders. I'm going to leave it as white for now, but yeah, this bit's completely optional, so you can change the colour how you want it by just moving these sliders, or changing these values, or using the colour picker here, um, but I'm going to keep it as white. You then want to increase the strength up to 1, the radius X up to 1, the radius Y up to 1, and the feather up to 1. Now you want to move the light source, so I want you to keep an eye on what happens here. If you move the light source to the upper left, for example, then the 3D effect is going to go down to the bottom right. So you'll see there, the 3D-ness is going down to the bottom right. Um, if it is a bit too much, if it seems a bit too long, if you change the strength value, you can shorten it and make it less 3D. But you can see there we go, we have got 3D text, and if we move this around, you can see that the 3D-ness moves around with it. So it's, it's very easy to edit. It is, like I said, a little bit of a cheat way. Um, so if you want proper 3D, then there is different ways to do it. There is uh, extensions you can get. The one thing I do like about this is it is kind of like a gradient. You do get this kind of fading effect, which can be pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if the 3D extensions allow you to do stuff like that. But yeah, we can edit it. We can have a little bit of 3D-ness. Or a lot of 3D-ness. Um, I'd say when it's full it doesn't look as good. So I'd keep it around like. Maybe like 0.8 down to nothing. Um, but somewhere within that region. You're going to get some good 3D text. And of course you can also animate it as well if you want. You've got the animate button down here at the bottom. If you click on that. You'll then get the standard keyframe option. So what I'm going to do here. I'm going to create a keyframe at the beginning. And we're going to have the strength here. And then I'm going to move it along to the very end. And I'm going to make the strength a little bit less. So it should actually get less 3D as it goes on. So let's just have a little play of this. So yeah, you can see the 3D effect is slowly fading. I'm also going to actually move the location. So just by dragging this little light source button again, if I can select it. Oh, it's got itself in an awkward place. I can't actually click on it. Yeah, there we go. Right. Um, so if we move this to maybe like the, the bottom left this time. And then we'll play the video again from the beginning. If I can move this little when actually I'm just going to close it. Um, so we'll click at the beginning here, play. And we can see we've got this little animation. The 3D effect's getting shorter and it's moving direction. So uh, yeah, that's how to do the 3D effect, guys. It's quite simple. It is, like I said, a little bit of a cheat way. So if you want the proper way to do it with the extension, then comment down below and I'll happily make that video for you guys. Um, but that is going to be it for this video so if this did help please leave a like on the video if you would like to see more tutorials then subscribe to the channel if there is any other tutorials you would like to see other than 3d text then just comment them down below because i'm always happy to do them but that is going to be it for this video guys so thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye